We started in 1997 with the Gainesville Calchelia Sister City program. In 2013, we got to visit the deaf school in Calchelia, and we learned that they were not equipped to provide kids with an education beyond ninth grade. So we started a project to help them raise money for their school, and we invited a delegation from the deaf school of students, teachers, and administrators to visit Gainesville. They came to Santa Fe College, they met with deaf students here and with the deaf culture students, and they started a friendship which continued through virtual exchange, Skype calls. But they didn't really have a goal, they just were talking to each other. But when the opportunity came along to be involved with the Stevens Initiative program, we realized that we could actually work for 18 months toward a goal of developing the first Palestinian video sign language dictionary. The students are working together to create a virtual video dictionary converting American Sign Language and Palestinian Sign Language side by side. They've spent more than a semester working on that together through a virtual exchange project. The special education and virtual learning in the United States and Palestine program is supported by the Stevens Initiative, which is sponsored by the U.S. Department of State and administered by the Aspen Institute. When you've been Skyping for several weeks and kind of months and you get to form like where they pop up on the computer and you know each other and it's it's an actual relationship. I am very, very happy because uh, I know some persons I make a with others, so I am very, very happy. You could see the looks on the students' faces of how interested they were to learn about those experiences. All of the students are going to gain a variety of global competencies. First and foremost, learning a new language. They were able to understand each other on a deeper level, and so virtual exchanges can be used to help them learn from each other. The students get much more engaged in the project. Now they have a goal and a purpose and a focus. For the students to gain a knowledge of not only Palestinian sign language and comparing it with American sign language, but I think also cultural differences too, gaining a perspective of their culture um, and gaining an understanding of their culture, help them gain better education, better perspectives on deafness, better views on deafness, um, better views on deaf culture, developing their deaf community and assist them with that. One of the professors mentioned to us that the students in the West Bank don't often have travel opportunities, and there's not a lot of deaf education opportunities past grade nine. So for them to have this opportunity to meet their peers abroad, to work collaboratively on a project both in American Sign Language and in Palestinian Sign Language, is offering them an opportunity that they have never had before. It gave them a bond that they hadn't expected, and that really enriched their learning. It's using technology to connect young people around the world so that they can learn and work together. We think this is a model that can be replicated around the world.